What's going on, Power Stroke family? Welcome back to the channel. This is a 22 Luma Duty, and this is gonna cover all Luma Duty 17 through current model year. These are our babies, and when we have to maintain them, we gotta replace the fuel filters, and that is a very important question on fuel filters and how and why we replace them on your Luma Duty. You guys might wanna check this one out. All right guys, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. We're dropping six, seven power stroke content for you all. And today I wanna to talk about fuel filters. This is something that we get asked a lot about and we have already done a video showing how to replace the fuel filters on these trucks. And if you remember, I removed this housing by just dropping it into one of my plastic totes. And that's kind of the easiest way that I've done it. I don't have a lot of time when I'm doing maintenance and customers are waiting. So I just need to get whatever's in here out. And that sometimes means that I can't wait for this to drain. Now, a lot of guys uh, reach out to the channel and to the community and say that they've drained five or six gallons from this water drain valve and it keeps coming and coming and it, it it won't stop doesn't show any signs of stopping and they're getting a little worried because uh, I don't have anywhere else to put this fuel well according to the owner's manual uh, when you replace your fuel filters they actually want you to disconnect one of the quick disconnects underneath the truck that's located on the fuel filter housing now let's get a light so we can see it a little better because I want you all to not be afraid to do this. I want you to be educated so that when you come time to do your fuel filters, you're not wondering and you know getting worried about if this thing is ever going to stop draining. If yours looks like this, I would feel confident enough to now pull this off and not make any mess. Now the line that they want you to disconnect is actually this line right here. This is what they want you to disconnect in the workshop manual. And this goes to the engine. This is the fuel supply. This is the fuel return. So once we disconnect this, and I don't wanna say siphoning or vacuum effect, but that's essentially what's happening is with this still connected, there is a vacuum that's kind of drawn on the fuel system and that's why it's, it's emptying this whole housing and sometimes it, it keeps emptying the tank. Now what I have found is trucks that come in with a quarter tank or less, I don't really have this issue. Now I don't know if it's just because of how the fuel pump in the tank and the lines on the fuel pump, you know, they're not submerged and that in turn doesn't allow this to bleed all the fuel off. But if that's the case, um, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Uh, if you have a 17 through current model year, the seal bodies don't have to worry about this. So let me go ahead and close this. And I wanna show you guys because you can't really see up here so I want you to envision that we are connected, but we're up here. I want you to want us to all agree that this is how it faces in the truck. So this is the back of the vehicle right here. So you're gonna have to do this by feel because you're not gonna be able to really see it. Now, what I want you to do is to take I want you to take these tabs right here and you're gonna have to kind of reach over the quick disconnect on the front side and see how I'm taking my finger and I'm kind of pulling on this tab. You're gonna kind of have to do both at the same time. Sometimes one stays like this is now and the other times the other side will spring back. So sometimes you can pull it all the way out so that it's completely released and then you can slide your line connection off of 
this port on the fuel filter housing. Now, if you break this, there is really gonna be no repair. You're gonna have to get this line bundle because you can't just get this by itself. So be very careful, and if you can't get this off, chances are you probably have some sort of debris, sand, dust, dirt in this, and not allowing it to slide out. But this is an alternative to getting your fuel filter out and not having that siphoning effect. I wanted to illustrate this to you. We keep getting asked about this, and I, and I thought I'd take this time to show you guys again what the proper way to drain your fuel filter housing is so that you don't get that siphoning effect on your Aluma Duty. Once you're done, it's literally going to push on. Make sure this is slid all the way out. And you'll get this to slide on. Got to kind of jiggle the connector or the connection. Oh, I finally got it on. I had to use two hands and I had to jiggle this as I was going over that lip on that port. And once it's on, you push that on and then just give it a tug and make sure that it doesn't come off. I want to know how many of you guys are actually doing it the way that I just showed you or are you just dumping it down into a basin like I originally showed you in the video that is in the description. Let me know if this helped you. I thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll see you underneath next time of an Illuminati. All right guys, we'll see you.